this is H.D. Bailey, continuing my quest to LP every version of Final Fantasy IV. This time, I'll be playing the Pixel version for the PC, currently available on Steam and mobile. I'm sure they'll bring it to console sooner or later, but I'm already using a PS5 controller to play the game myself. And for this LP, I will try really, really hard to unlock all of the achievements but some of them require hours and hours of farming, so I may never get the items I want anyway, but I'll see what I can do. Unfortunately, this version does not contain the bonus content from the GBA and PSP versions, so if you're looking for that, you may want to look up my LP of Final Fantasy IV, The Complete Collection. So let's see what options we got around here. You can listen to the soundtrack, look up enemies uh, that you've encountered in the game, or I guess some artwork or something there. And at least with the PC version, we got a whole bunch of stuff here with the graphics and how you want to set up your controller. Lots of options to go here. Not to mention uh, configuring the font for the game, though I did that in the... Uh, in the previous video in the playlist there, so you may want to look that up if you want the font to look nice and pretty like this. So, let's get started here in a new game, Soaring to Greater Heights. So, this is the pixel version, both literally and figuratively. So, the graphics look this way intentionally, I guess, to appeal to nostalgia or something like that. So, what are we doing now? Oh, we are? I didn't think we were heading in that direction, but okay. We are playing as Captain Cecil. Well, yeah, he's hanging his head down, I guess. It's kind of hard to tell with, you know, pixelated graphics, but okay. Well... Apparently not! I guess it's like a flashback or something or other with the sepia tones and everything going on here. Whoa! Yeah, I like how they added a little animation there other than just the screen shaking and then they just disappear or something. So, yeah, a nice little touch without going into like, full 3D graphics or anything. What is the crystal, like, above there anyway? Is that, like, a, a pitfall or something? Or is it, like, floating in the air? Something's keeping it going. Well, to protect people, you kind of have to harm other people. Well, what else are you going to do? Oh, well, yeah, I ordered you to do it. Oh, okay. Oh, really? So, what are what were they gonna do with the crystal? What are we gonna do with the crystal? Sell it on Amazon? I don't know. In any case, oh, what's going on, dude? Whoa! How do we have monsters up here? We're in an airship. We don't fight monsters in airships in this series. Well, they did do that in the last game. Maybe I'll play the pixel version of that one, too. But yeah, here we get a little... I don't know if it's a tutorial or whatever, but they're showing you how the gameplay mechanics work, where you see you got the ATB gauge there. When that happens, you can do stuff there. But this is all going automatically at this point, just to show you a little bit of it. In the Super Nintendo version, the ATB gauge was invisible. They didn't actually show it there. But in this version, we got that. So, that's pretty nice. Uh-oh. Ow! Quit it. But yeah, we got nice fancy items and animations that we can use here. Well, evidently, I guess we're all here. Whoa! Nuts. 
What's going on? Maybe. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably just, everything's just going to be fine. Probably just your imagination. Where are we landing the airships anyway? I mean, do we got like a, a port or something? Like maybe something on the castle and they're just not showing that to us? Something? I don't know. Maybe it's an underground port. I don't know. But all right. So yeah, you see the soldier on the left interacted with the knob on, or the lever on the left there to open up the doors. Well, good, good. Ha ha. Now, actually, in this version of the game, you can just walk right through the doors and they'll open automatically. You don't have to use the switch there anymore. But you can if you want. I like how they kept that little detail going there. Whoa, uh, dude? Oh, okay. I guess I'll just wait here for a while. What's the worst that could possibly happen? That quickly? Oh, okay. Well, thanks for not firing me. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, well, we could have done that in the first place. So what do you need this one? What, they got fake crystals? Well, they did have one in the last game. Oh, okay, well, thanks. Goodbye. No questions or anything. Yes, load captain? No, no, that's another game, viewers. <laughs> well, I thought you already knew. Well, maybe we should, I don't know, discipline them or something. No, of course not. What do you mean, treachery? I just asked a question, dude. Whoa! That was... That escalated quickly. Ah. Okay. Bomb ring. Gee. I wonder what that item could possibly do. I think when they were doing the translation for this game, they tried to somewhat keep it more in line with the original Super Nintendo translation. So, like, items like that, you know, they'll have the name that we had or something. But they do do a pretty good job with the uh, grammar, at least. Who's this guy? Kane, huh? Oh. Okay. Uh, thanks. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving, dude. Oh. Okay, yeah, I guess. Sounds like a plan. Oh, okay. You gonna, like, buy some items or equipment or whatever, but... All right, so now we've finally gotten control here, and yeah, we got a whole bunch of options we can do here. Let's see, I want to set the battle mode to active there, and I would like the battle speed to be as fast as possible. Let's see, battle messages, maybe go a little faster, but not too much. And then, okay, let me turn down the background music, I think. Yeah, just turn that down just a little bit there, it's a little loud. And then, okay, yeah, I think that's everything I want to do there. We also have the quick save option here that 
well, let you save quickly. But yeah, you can save anywhere you want with that, or you can make a permanent save file with the save option there, but we can't do that right now. Oh, what kind of rumors? I'm sure they're not true. Ah, okay, yeah, y yeah, I, I, I got it. I guess we can't talk to the king. This guy's got a fancy purple uniform going on there. I like the color. Ah, okay. And one thing you can do in this version, unlike the Super Nintendo version, yeah, you can dash around a little faster than before. Whee! <laughs> I like it. Oh. Okay, yeah, I guess it must have just been my imagination. Well, what do you mean? Hmm. Oh, yeah, in this version of the game, you can move diagonally, too. Woo, nice and fancy there. Yeah, that does kind of cut down on the encounter rate a little bit as a result. Or at least it seems like it does. Ah, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you seem pretty high ranking as it is. That's... Did it work? Oh, okay, never mind then. Well, yeah, that is the idea. Ha ha. Yeah, just perk yourself up like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Oh, well, that's easy, I was about to say. Where are we going? Eventually over there. Sounds like a plan. So, where are we going? I mean, I know we're going to Mist and all that, but... Well, anyway, let's continue onward here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's what our job is, uh, evidently. Hmm? Uh-oh. No, not really. Well, that was pointless. Oh, well, you are black mages, I would assume. Well, what do you mean? Oh. Well, maybe we can learn some eventually. Well, let's see what they got going on here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Rosa, huh? Oh, no, of course not. Well, what do you mean? Maybe he's just taking better care of himself. Well, it's a lot of cures you got there. It's also, I think, Curada. There's a whole bunch of them that usually don't appear in the games like that. But in any case, oh, okay, thanks. Oh, okay. So yeah, a little tutorial here. Just go right over here. You see the icon. You can interact with it. And we can get a lot of good stuff. Some money, Ether restores some uh, MP, although we don't have any of that right now. And a tent. Uh, tents can be used on the overworld or at save points to restore 1,000 HP and 100 MP to all party members. It's really good. And that's, well, a lot more than we've got right now. Ah, okay. That's... Let's see, can I open the door? No, you can't do that from over here in this version of the game. Can't even go over here either, so... Oh, well. What are you guys doing here? Oh, okay. Oh, well, where'd he go? Hmm, I wonder. Sid, huh? Well... Like every good Final Fantasy game, we have to have someone named Sid. 
Absolutely. Hmm, can't get in there either. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Let's see, if I go into the map here, well, you can see, like, the little... There's a little bit of treasure over there, but also we got a mini-map in the upper right. But, uh, let's see, if we go into the map and then switch maps, you can see how many items we have in the area. So that's pretty nice. So the items are hidden, but the chests are pretty obvious where they are. And there's going to be an achievement for getting all of them. Both the chests and the hidden items. So you want to watch out for that. So I'll be getting all of that myself. And what do you guys got going on out here? Oh, what do you mean? Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you can just open the door automatically walking down. Because, well, you can't access the switch on the left there. But, uh, no, apparently we can't leave yet. So we'll pack up our bags and, well, I guess we're going home. But So you can activate the switch there to open up the door. Or, yeah, just walk right up into it. And you can do it that way in this version of the game. Couldn't do that from below in the Super Nintendo version. Huh? Who's there? Oh, hey, uh, Rosa. What's going on? Oh. But then you would have been slaughtered. Set you on fire. Oh. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? So what do you do around here anyway? I mean, I know she's... They said she's like white mage or something like that, but I mean... I mean, is she like a, a medic of some sort? Or... I don't know. Let's see, we could go down here to get into the moat, but there's nothing we can do over here for now. Instead, let's go over here down into the dungeons. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Another nice thing about this version of the game. Let's see, yeah, you can talk to the mages all the way up there from the bars. In the Super Nintendo version, you had to wait for them to eventually randomly walk down to get close enough to the bars to be able to talk to them. But in this version, they made it a lot more convenient. But, uh, well, it's too late now. But in any case, all right, yeah, let's get out of here. There's only one more place to explore up here. Oh! Hey, Sid! There you are. Yeah, your, uh, what is it? Employees are working for you. Wow, okay. Yeah, they changed where this cutscene happens in this version of the game. I guess because they're making it, you know, widescreen. So it's kind of hard to see all the way up there from the bottom now. Well, they got us back, didn't they? And it's not like they had airships. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't think it was a demotion, just a uh, relieving me of command and sending me to do something else. Oh, what do you mean? Well, yeah, what else would you do with an airship? Oh, yeah, that would be the general idea. Whoa. But, uh, yeah, it just leaves off the screen there. But let's see what else we got around here. I guess these are, like, the barracks or something? Hmm. I can't talk to that guy from here. There we go. Oh! How'd you break your arm on against those guys? Maybe the monsters got them or something. Oh. Yeah, and get drunk! Ha ha. Well, you did what you did. I don't know why they have this little platform here, but you could go up there if you wanted. But, uh, okay, we're done there. So, in any case, in order to progress with the plot, we gotta go into the tower here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Whoa! 
Yeah, I guess they assumed you would talk to her from over here, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, something a little silly there, but, uh, okay, we could rest up here. In the Super Nintendo version, you would have to walk over towards the bed, and then you would be moving automatically. Ah, maybe. Well, good for you in your loyalty. Keep thinking that way. Well, doesn't seem very honorable anymore. Just keep telling yourself that, Cecil. Oh, it is? Well, what are we supposed to, I don't know, wait a week or something? What are you doing here anyway? Just to talk or something? Well, yeah, didn't you know that already in advance? That is the general idea. I mean, you are a dark knight, after all. What did you think this career path was going to lead you to do? Well, we're working on it. Ha ha. Well, he is. Aww. I like the green outfit she's got, though. Nice touch. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll have not one, but two. Two party members. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Yeah, I'll try. I'll remember to bring back your favorite piece. What do you mean? Apparently she loves you. Yeah, a little wrinkle in their uh, relationship there. All right, let's get out of here. That's the idea. Do we have any of those items that you used during the intro? Spoiler alert! No! So this is going to be a bit more difficult, but not very much. Early in the game, there's not really uh, a whole lot that I could change with strategies, but some of the bosses and more advanced enemies can make things more interesting. But yeah, so my motivation for making an LP to this particular version of the game is, well, since my last one, I've gained access to the precise AI scripts of the enemies, which changes a lot of my strategies. Yeah, there's also a lot of tweaks to the battle mechanics in this version, though nothing like the 3D remakes. No, no, we're not talking crazy. I mean, it's still essentially the same idea there. Well, yeah, what did you think airships were going to do? Thanks! But yeah, this version is probably most similar to the Super Nintendo version, and I might even record some bonus clips from that version as well for unique parts there, but for the most part, we're going to be using the Pixel version, and things will be pretty similar between them. But alright, so I guess like Kane was saying, gotta, I don't know, make preparations or something going on. Yeah, one thing, uh, when I was playing this game with the font that I chose, I didn't have any problems with it in this game. But like some other games I've heard, like sometimes the text can get a little too big for a box or something. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen that in this game. But, uh, oh right, now we've got more party members with Kane. So, I think I'll just leave everyone like this for now. Or leave them wherever they are. Nothing we can really do with the equipment. But there is a town that we could explore a little bit, gather information, 
and make some more preparations. But can we defeat the monsters at the Mist Cave? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Pixel. This is HD Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!